Hi everybody, Craig Lemire here, Moss Studios. Um, this month my article is all about backgrounds and backdrops. I pretty much take you um, from where I started when I first started shooting to where I am today and talk about all the different backgrounds and backdrops that I've used. Um, when I first started shooting, I was actually in my basement for about a year. Uh, I took over my theater room, I pushed all the equipment back, uh, bought me a little cheap background stand, some constant lights, and I started going at it. Uh, you know, I had no idea about backgrounds, to be honest with you. I didn't know about freedom cloth, I didn't know about muslins, I didn't know about uh, canvas, I didn't know about seamless paper. Uh, you know, the only thing that I knew that I could use was sheets. And so I would actually go to TJ Maxx or Ross or somewhere and I'd find sets of sheets that I, that I liked the pattern on and I would buy them. You know, the only problem was, you know, you're only going to use the big sheet. Uh, and so I had a pile of uh, uh, pillowcases and fitted sheets that I ended up just throwing out. Um, as I started to progress, the sheets just uh, didn't serve the purposes I needed. And so that's when I started uh, going to fabric stores to find my backgrounds. And what I really liked about the fabric stores was there was a million textures and a million colors for pretty much anything that you'd want to shoot in the fabric store, to be honest with you. Uh, creatively, uh, it was a fantastic place to be. The only problem is fabric isn't really built uh, for a decent width to shoot more than one person on. And the other problem is uh, it is so freaking expensive for some of the nicer fabrics. Um, I wish I knew now what I, or I wish I knew then what I know now because for the same amount of money that I bought three pieces of fabric, I probably could have bought a, a really nice uh, background that would have uh, uh, been way more versatile than that uh, fabric was way back then. Uh, when I finally moved out of my basement and opened up my first studio, uh, I started shooting seamless paper. And I, I really, really liked the paper for a few reasons. Uh, the first reason was uh, it was a nice, flat, clean surface. Uh, you know, it was really great to shoot on. Uh, you know, I really loved the, the paper because it took any kind of light. Like, you could hit it full power with the strobe. You could use constant lights. You could use uh, natural light. You know, the paper always looked really good. The only thing that I didn't like about the paper is... You know, being a one-man show at my studio, having to put it up and take it down all the time, uh, I would wrinkle it or I would tear it, and I'd, I'd just chew through so much of it that it was kind of a pain in my butt. And so I started looking uh, for other options. And the option that I found that I love the most uh, is hand-painted muslins. And what muslin is is just a type of cotton fabric that has been painted uh, with different patterns, with different uh, uh, tones to, to make these backdrops. And uh, for me, uh, I loved them. As soon as I started shooting them, it kind of changed the, the way that I, sh that I shot. You know, just like paper, they come in a million different colors. But unlike paper, you know, b by the way they're sh painted, they have built-in texture to them. And so when I would shoot them, it would give my images a different depth and a different feel that I couldn't get from the paper. And it really was the, the, the muslins that took my art to where it is today. And so... Uh, in my studio, I shoot 90 to 95% of everything that I do uh, on a muslin. Um, one thing about the muslins that people hate are the wrinkles. And in the article, I give you a link to a YouTube video that shows you, shows you how to get out the wrinkles, which is worth reading the uh, article all by itself. Like, you'll love it. You'll, you'll, it's the best thing ever. Um, once again, I hope you guys get some great stuff out of the article and make you think a little bit. I uh, can't wait to see you guys at Shutterfest in a few months, and I'll talk to you guys next month. Thanks.